Alright, what is up YouTube, it's PJ here and I'm coming at you guys today with another variation of my art type videos. This time we'll be va visiting the Miss Valley and we will be taking a look at all of the monsters that are involved with the Miss Valley art type. So the Miss Valley, as we know, are part of the Dual Terminal series. They first introduced in Dual Terminal series 1 along with the Flying Veil, x Saber, uh, Worms, Ally of Justice, and the Ice Barrier Monsters. The history of the Mist Valley themselves is that these monsters did unite with the other four tribes, the other three tribes, the Ally of Justice, the um, Ice Barriers, the Egg Sabers, and the uh, Flame Veil in order to deal with the Worm Invasion. They created the Ally of Justice as a bond to signify their treaty um, in order to help survive the world and to save it from the worm invasion. Crazy enough, the Miss Valley separated from this, uh, claiming that they were able to deal with the threat on their own, and um, surprisingly enough, they failed. <laughs> only to join up with, only for the remaining members of the tribe to join with the Genet, I mean, the Genet ally, to join up with the Dragoonides, uh, forming the Dragoonity Alliance, and then allowing them to survive and deal with the um, worm invasion themselves. After the worm invasion, unfortunately, the um, ice barrier situation, the situation with the ice barriers ended up getting worse as Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barriers, rampaged throughout the land and kind of eliminated a, more of the tribe that was still remaining. Funny enough, if you can look in the artwork of Shrine of the Mist Valley, you can actually see the symbol of the Gusto as it is depicted that the Gusto um, tribe and the members who, who remained from the Mist Valley were those who became the Gusto. Uh, the Mist Valley monsters themselves are a combination of winged beasts, thunder, and spellcaster type monsters uh, who are all based under the wind attribute and many of their effects involve returning cards to the hand either upon summon or through an effect. We'll be taking a look at all these monsters and their supporting cards, as well as some cards that are based off of the Mist Valley itself. So without further ado, let's start it off with uh, one particular monster. This is Mist Valley Baby Rock. This level 2 winged beast monster, uh, tuner monster, actually happens to be uh, the baby of the original monster known as Rock from the Valley of Hades. Uh, Miss Valley Baby Rock's effect is just like it's older, just like the um, original, just like the bigger counterpart. Uh, this card is sent from directly from the hand to the graveyard. You can special summon it. While Miss Valley, while Rock from the Valley of Hayes says, if this card is sent from, directly from the hand to the graveyard, uh, you can add this card back to your deck and shuffle it in. These two monsters, actually enough, have corresponding artworks as. They both have the Miss Valley itself in their background. My Miss Valley Baby Rock has Rock from the Valley Haze hovering up, flying above it uh, as it soars into the skies. Next up is Miss Valley Master of Win uh, Wind Master, known the OCG as Master of Wind Master of Miss Valley. This monster's effect reads that once a turn, both players have five or more cards in their hand. You can activate the effect for both players to send cards from their hand to the graveyard until they have four in hand. Next up is Miss Valley Thunderbird. This level three Thunder attribute, Thunder type win attribute monster has the effects of when this card is on the field, you can return it to the hand. When this card on the field returns to the hand, you can just summon it from the hand, but it cannot attack the turn it is special summon. So Miss Valley Thunderbird is one of the few thunder type monsters for the Miss Valley. And despite, despite the fact that it is a is in its name, it says Thunderbird, it is not actually a Thunderbird. Uh, the Miss Valley Thunderbird itself has a corresponding counterpart known as Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Uh, who gained a major upgrade in both attack, defense, and level, and a very nice and sleek artwork, as Thunderbird himself was infected by the Ill Swarm virus, uh, which was, I think, depicted within either Dual Terminal 3 or 4, um, and this was after the invasion of the, the issue with the Ice Barriers. And for the most part, this just gave more lore to the um, Dual Terminal series, and for the most part, Thunderbird actually looks really nice in both his original and his dark counterparts. 
We move on to Miss Valley Shaman and Nomi Neo CG as Shaman of Miss Valley. This level 3 tuner monster has the effect of once a turn, you can target one other monster you control. Return it to hand, and if you do, this monster gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. This is one of the only Miss Valley monsters to be heavily censored from the OCG to TCG as her breast side, as her outfit was entirely changed and her breast size reduced. Next up is Miss Valley Soldier, no need to CG as Soldier of Miss Valley. This monster is a fact three is that if, uh, you, if this card you control is face up and any monster this card battles with um, does not get destroyed by battle, return that card to the hand at the end of the damage step. Next up is Miss Valley Falcon, level four uh, wind attribute, Winged Beast Monster. This is the highest attack level four Winged Beast Monster, I mean, monster in general for the Miss Valley. Um, that's level 4 or lower. Her effect reads, when this card attack, declares an attack, you can turn one card on the, on your, you control to the hand. This is actually leading up to the, uh, Miss Valley Falcon control deck, where a lot of the control aspects of this deck actually revolved around the effects of Miss Valley Falcon, where you use specific cards like Big Bang Shy, um, was it Dark World Shackles and other cards like that to attach it to certain monsters and you would be able to return your spells and trap cards which would either destroy those monsters, banish those monsters, or um, do additional effects because they left cards would be leaving the field in order for Miss Valley Falcon to attack. It was a really good strategic setup for the archetype. Next up is Miss Valley Executor, known in the OCS Executioner of Miss Valley. This level, this level 5 monster's effect reads uh, when this card is normal summoned, return all face up when we face up spell and child cards on the field to the owner's hand. Next up is the biggest monster of the Miss Valley. This is Miss Valley Apex Avian, who has a ton of names in the OCG. Um, this monster's names are depicted as uh, Bird of Prey of Miss Valley, uh, the Giant God Bird of Miss Valley. So. This monster's uh, effect reads, once per chain, when a card is, card or effect is activated, quick effect. You can target one Miss Valley monster you control, return that card, turn that target to hand. And if you do, negate the activation and destroy that card. If you didn't. So, uh, Miss Valley Apex Avian is the only um, main deck level 7 uh, monster. So, it's the highest monster of the Miss Valley. It has the highest stat as well 2700 attack 2000 defense and the crazy thing about this bird is that this bird ironically didn't work too well within its own archetype as the archetype did try to build up however in later iterations of other decks such as the pendulum um was it the pendulum magicians and the Samorg archetype took big advantage of this bird for this bird was used in those decks due to the pendulum scales being able to summon high level monsters without having to sacrifice a tribute summon to do such. You have the effects of the Samorg cards which allow you to summon high level winged beast monsters with less tribute than required, giving this bird its all overrides effect. And of course if you combine this bird with Miss Valley Thunderbird, you get a good combination of cards as well to really negate a lot of things on the board. This thing can actually even go toe to toe with Herald of Perfection, but I think Herald of Perfection has the more better setup for its effect than Thunderbird because you still need Miss Valley monsters in the field. Thunderbird um uh, Herald itself can just discard cards from the hand and those effects can be changed too. So, yeah, there's a lot of on-stack between Avion and Herald. Then we move on to the last of the Miss Valley monsters in the main deck, and that is Miss Valley Watcher. This is the only normal monster for the Miss Valley archetype. In the LCG, this monster is known as, as um, Sacred Land Watcher of Miss Valley. This monster's uh, stats are level 4, wind, winged, level 4, spellcaster, wind attribute. 1500 attack, 1900 defense, and its um, flavor text reads, A descendant of the family that served as the Miss Valley Watchman over the generations, never missing a sight, never missing a sight. things in, things that happen uh, in the valley, no matter how many. I don't know where the translation or text screwed up there, but 
that's how it's written. <laughs> uh, the Miss Valley Watcher himself, uh, the Sykes that he looks winged beast, is actually a sarcastic type monster. And he has actually the artworks of the Miss Valley itself in his background, which is also similar to some other monsters we'll be talking about as well. So, the last of the Miss Valley monsters in name is Miss Valley Thunder Lore. This level 7 win attribute um, synchro type monster, thunder synchro monster. Uh, if needs one tuner and one or more non tuner Miss Valley monsters. It's effect threes once a turn. You can target one card. You select and return one card you control to the hand. And if you do, this monster gains 500 and attack until the end phase. This card's effect can be activated during either player's turn. So the Miss Valley Thunder Lord and his artwork is actually an enraged um, Miss Valley Executor, destroying what seems to be the Ally of Justice Catasta. Um, which kind of could hint to some conflicts between the creators and the um, creation. So the crazy thing about this monster is it's the second highest static um, Miss Valley monster, with Avion being right next to it in terms of attack. In terms of defense, I believe this is the highest defense Miss Valley monster with Avion following. I mean, yeah, with Apex Avion following behind it. Uh, for the most part, these are all of the monsters that revolve within the Miss Valley. Some noted monsters, of course, are Miss Valley's uh, Rock from the Valley of Haze. We have Miss Condor, uh, who's a level 4 win attribute Windy Beast monster. Uh, 1400 attack, 400 defense. You can summon this card from your hand by returning one Miss Valley monster you control to the hand. And if you do, this card's attack becomes 1700. This monster also has the same exact background as Miss Valley Watcher. We also have some monsters that correspond with the next card we're going to talk about, and that is Miss Bird Calderas. This level 3 wind attribute winged beast synchro monster. Level 3, 0 attack, 2300 defense. 1 tuner, 1 or more non tuners. Once a turn, you can target one face of a monster your opponent controls it until the end phase of the turn. This, that card's attack becomes 0, and its effect is negated. This monster was actually based off of the Ally of Jeff. This monster's artwork is based similar to the Ally of Justice Calderas, which people believe um, in this monster's actual depiction. A monster in the Miss, a mighty monster in the Miss Valley in an ultimate weapon designed by, um, designed from Calderas Solaris. It is surprisingly attacked above uh, baffled invaders. This monster in Calderas itself are actually the same monster, just in more machine form, which also believes that this monster is a Miss Valley monster, who just unfortunately didn't get the marks of being named as Miss Valley. And you also say that in the senses of Necros of Calderas, who is a monster who is based off of that Miss Valley monster in terms of its artwork, in wearing that monster's um, armor, with the same level in defense as that monster, with no similar effects to correspond to it. And also talk about Genex Ally Birdman, who in his artwork depicts looks like a Miss Valley monster. Um, it has an effect that revolves around wind as it if you return a wind monster on your side to feel that to the hand, you suck this card from your hand. Um, but it is banished when it leaves the field. And its attack is increased by five hundred if you do return a wind monster to such summon it. Of course we need to talk about the spells for the Miss Valley and it's funny enough they only have filth spells, no traps. So the fill, first fill spell is Shrine of the Miss Valley. Its effect is a fill spell and its effect leads once a turn when a wind monster or monsters you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can send someone one level through a lower wind monster from your hand or deck to the field, but its effects are negated. In this card's depiction, you see the um, ban the banisters uh, of tapestry ma made of in green, that had the depiction of the Gusto symbol. This could relate to the fact that the predecessors to uh, the Miss Valley will be the Gusto, and which is funny enough because Gusto then becomes the main focus of Wind Monsters within the Dual Terminal series after the Miss Valley. And then we have the only card to ever be hit by the TCG and OCG Forbidden Limited list. This is Divine Wind of Miss Valley. Its effect reads once a turn if a wind based on wind monster you control is returned to the to the hand. You can summon one wind monster from oh for a lower wind monster from your deck to the field. So this card actually ended up getting limited not because of the Miss Valley. 
Ironically enough, this card got banned due to the effects of Harvey Dancer and the Harvey Dancer FTK OTK, where it exposed a lot of those good land monsters. It also appears to the fact that Miss Valley, I mean, that um, Alex, Genex Ally Birdman was hit to one, Stratos had to be banned, and a couple more corresponding cards ended up getting hit at that same period of time. Actually, before the TCG ever got their hands on Harvey Dancer to actually execute the Harvey Dancer FTK OTK. In addition to that, the only other monster we haven't talked about is uh, Mist Worm, who also shares the same similar backgrounds as Mist Valley Watcher and um, Mist Condor. It's a level 9 wind attribute thunder type monster, 2500 attack, 20, uh, 1500 defense, 1 tuner plus 2 or more non tuners. When this card is synchro summoning, you can target up to 3 cards your opponent controls and turn those cards to hand. So that is pretty much it for all of the Miss Valley cards and the Miss Valley archetype. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this archetype video and more soon to come. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. ACJ signing out. Take care.